Welcome to the Master Cars Pro channel. Today we will talk about the problems and weaknesses of Nissan Maxima QX. It's important enough for an executive car to pamper the driver and the Nissan Maxima QX doesn't do too badly. It provides a decent high speed ride and around town it's fine. However, the handling just can't compete the, with the German models that dominated this class. Uh, the steering is lifeless and it feels nose heavy through the corners. The two V6 engines are, that, are the car's trains uh, pulling smoothly right through the rave range. They're quite too, uh, which sadly uh, means you can hear just how much road uh, noise there is. As you'd expect of a Nissan, the dashboard is well laid out but the cabin has none of the quality in the QX's rivals. There's no reach adjustment for the steering wheel either and the taller drivers will find it short on the on the bedroom. Rear passengers get the best deal with acres of space to spread, spread out in but the way the suspension intrudes into the boot limits its practicality. The Maxima QX suffered catastrophic depreciation as a new car and lost 80% of its value in the first three years of its life. That means it's a lot of metal for the money as a used buy. However, it'll cost you in other ways, for example with no diesel uh, model to offer decent fuel economy, the miles per gallon figures aren't that great. Uh, the official numbers are 29.1 mpg for the 2.0 and 27 uh, mpg for the 3 uh, but you'll need uh, but you'll struggle uh, to reach those in everyday driving sourcing replacement parts could be a problem given the age of the car now but at least Nissan uh, bills tend to be lower than average even if you use a main dealer for your servicing and repairs but if you want to cut your bills even further, there are plenty of independent garages that specialize in Japan, Japanese makes. Build quality on this car is in the main uh, good the, and the Japanese film's record on reliability is an impressive one. The QX uh, rating is well about average in data supplied by warranty direct. That said, to minimize your risk, beware of high milers. This car was aimed more at the fil uh, fleet market than the private buyer, so many will have uh, traveled big distances in a shorter space of time than the normal. Check for cars that could have been curved uh, because the linkage in the front suspension was found to break if uh, subjected to an impact. Nissan warned this could affect the QX stability and make the car difficult to control. Brake discs have also been known to warp, so find out from the seller when they were last replaced. Inspect the headlamps too, uh, because faulty or damaged ones are particularly pricey to replace. The QX was only on sale in the UK for two years. It was launched on an X plate, and there are just uh, two models to choose from. Both are V6 petrols, uh, 140 bhp. A 2 liter and a 200 bhp 3 liter our pick of the pair is the latter uh, the smaller engine struggles in such a large heavy car but with the optional 4 speed automatic is very sluggish but contrast the other only 3 liter is much stronger and delivers a decent turn of speed there are two trim levels uh, C SE and SE plus SE is only available on two models and has remote uh, central locking alloys, a CD changer, climate control, and power operated windows, mirrors, and sunroof. SE plus is the best bet because it adds uh, leather upholstery. All cars have anti lock brakes and twin front and side airbags. In security testing, the car was found to be very good at keeping out the thieves. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that'll help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.